Good morning, and uh, this is our continuation of our study in the book of Romans chapter 10, and we've been talking about the righteousness of our creator, Yahuwah, and uh, what does it take to, to, to uh, receive his righteousness? And we've talked about the fact is that it's not by works of righteousness which we have done, but it's according to Yahuwah's mercy that he saved us. So the the fact is that there are a lot of people today uh, that have the or deceived into thinking that <clears throat> it's because of their own good works or they're keeping the law that they somehow will gain salvation or eternal life. But the scripture clearly teaches that it's not by works of righteousness which we have done, but again, it's according to his mercy that he saved us. Uh, for by grace are we saved through faith. Notice that faith is the avenue to which we gain salvation. Uh, it's Yahuwah's favor. It's because he's decided to, for those that would put their faith and trust in the completed work of the Messiah, he paid the penalty for our sins. I've shared with you in the past that the scripture declares, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of eternal life is those who will put their faith and trust in the Messiah. He became our substitute, the Messiah did. He died for us. It says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, For him who knew no sin was made to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of Yahuwah in him, or in the Messiah. In Messiah, I have the righteousness of Yahuwah. Um, I've talked about the fact is that uh, most believers today have no concept or understanding of what it means to be righteous. If you were to ask most believers today, are, are they righteous? Most people would respond and say that, well, I'm trying to be righteous. And because that's their thinking of what righteousness is. I did not say, and the scripture does not teach that righteousness uh, is, is you being perfect in all that you do. Righteousness is, is a free gift that Yahuwah treats you and I as if we had never sinned. It says, blessed is the man unto whom Yahuwah will not impute sin. In other words, in, impute means to hold it to our account. Blessed is the man to whom Yahuwah will not impute sin. In other words, he does not hold it against us. Uh, does this mean that we go about just sin, living a sinful life? No. No. Um, just because we're not being uh, judged for our sins, if you've really truly been born again, as far as having to, to suffer eternal cons consequences for your sin, there are natural consequences for, for sin. Um, you know, if, if you give the, Paul wrote about the, uh, in Romans chapter four, I think it's, uh, or maybe it's Ephesians chapter four, uh, verse 27, he said, neither give place to the devil. And it, when you and I begin, if you and I uh, be, uh, yield to sin in our lives, we open up a door to, to where Satan can have access to us. That's why it's important to repent of, or uh, of, if you do fall, uh, you know, uh, quickly get out of that sin, confess your sins. And the Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, that he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That unrighteousness is a consciousness of not being worthy enough. Most people, <clears throat> most believers have one of the biggest problems that we have is uh, staying free from condemnation. Condemnation um, is not healthy if you're truly born again as, as a believer, as far as you being spiritually strong. Uh, you want to flee things that bring condemnation. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation to those which are in Yahushua HaMashiach, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Ruach. See, if you walk in the things of the Spirit, you will not experience condemnation. If you walk according to the flesh, you'll experience condemnation. But the fact is that you, uh, uh, someone that's truly born again, and I know myself, I'm not looking for a way to see what I can get by with. I I just detest uh, sin. I detest, uh, you know, when I have fallen and failed. I hate the fact that I've missed it. And I'm sure you do too if you're truly born again. Uh, 
So w once we realize that Yahuwah is not holding those things against us, he's freely given us of our sins, past, present, and future tense sins. All sins have been forgiven for those that are truly <clears throat> born again. But it's important for you and I to keep our conscience clear of that. You know, to keep our, uh, if, if we do fall and miss it, then act upon 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. When you acknowledge that, yes, I've missed it, then you can walk free of that knowing that you've been forgiven and you can walk in that consciousness of being righteous. Having a consciousness of righteousness instead of having a consciousness that I'm just an old sinner and I keep and, 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 and identify with that fallen nature. Uh, we should identify with the, the man on the inside that's already created in righteousness and true holiness. That's Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24. Paul said, put on the new man, which after Yahuwah, or God, is created in righteousness and true holiness, he said. We're to, to allow that man to dominate our lives. I hope this is helping you. We'll continue to discuss this in our future videos. Thanks for uh, all your uh support and encouragement. Please uh, share these videos with others. And thank you for those that have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed to the ch YouTube channel, please do so and encourage others to do so too. There's about uh, 1,800, 1,900 videos on my channel that you can make use of and pass on to others that, that they can receive ministry as well. And I thank you for doing that. Until next time, Shalom.